Hi Anne. Hi. Brocklesby, it's lovely to see you again. Um, please can you just tell me a little bit about um, the seminar today, how you've been, um, you know, how you feel about going to the seminar today. I know we're only a half time, but if you could just tell me a little bit about that, that'd be great. I've really enjoyed the seminar today on creative writing. It's been fun. I've enjoyed meeting other people who also have uh, sh things to share about mental health. And uh, we all uh, wrote uh, very lucid pieces about uh, mental health. And uh, I really liked listening to how everybody read back. You learn a lot about people from creative writing. It's very expressive. Thank you very much for that, Anne. Can you just tell me a little bit about um, how, you've, how you heard about Chipmunker Publishing and tell me uh, a little bit about the books that you've written and how writing has helped you to, to help your, your own mental health and how being published has helped and how you, you like helping other people as well. I first heard about uh, Chipmunker Publishing from a friend. Uh, she'd heard you talking on the radio, Jason, and um, saying that you would welcome manuscripts. So I tried, without any success, to get my writing published. And so uh, after I heard about Chipmunker Publishing, I sent my uh, scripts up to you, and um, lo and behold, then I became a published author. I now have five published books, which is great. And uh, I find that um, being a published writer has given me a voice in the mental health field. After my first book was published, I then went on to work in mental health. And uh, although I'm now officially uh, retired, in a sense, I don't have to work because I get a pension, um, I enjoy writing and I contribute regularly to uh, mental health forums and I would like to get back into working in mental health. I find that um, it helps me to help other people. I'm doing some uh, mental health... Um, um, sorry, I'm doing some mental health uh, mentoring training at the moment. And I'm hoping to get involved in a recovery project with the local Mind and Mental Health Trust. And uh, I think that will give me some new experiences uh, to write about. I enjoy writing. It gives me a focus in life. That's great. Can you tell me uh, the names of your books, please, as well? Tell, tell the people um, watching the names of your books. Yeah, my first book I wrote was called Move Over Manic Depression, Here I Am. And I thought it would be about my mental health problems, but actually... It was about my mother who died over 30 years before I started writing. So that was a real eye-opener to me. Uh, I found the whole writing process very cathartic. My second book was research about suicide. I had experienced suicidal feelings and I wanted to know how common it was. So I called that book Let's Hang On to Mental Health, Why We Need to Prevent Mental Distress. And my third book was a sequel to the first one, and it was uh, called um, Moving On From Depression. And it was uh, various things that you can do to try and improve your mental health, things that other people had said to me might be helpful. Um, my fourth book um, I wrote when I was working on short-term goals to try and improve my life. And I decided on doing three specific things during a year uh, to improve. And I did creative writing. I did aqua. And actually there was one other thing. I can't remember what that goal was at the moment. Um, and then my fifth book, um, that was called Our Seven Senses, An Investigation. Because I again thought I needed to do some research about our senses and how very much they are affected when we have a serious mental health illness um, to deal with. Our senses go down, um, we have some heightened senses. Why is this? Why do we experience these feelings? Um, and that is the last book that I've written at the moment. 
Wow, that's great. That's great, Anne. Hi. Hi. Jason. Hello. <laughs> and it's just fantastic. Um, I can remember going to your first book launch. Oh, yes. Um, that, how many, what year was that? 1990, would it be seven? 2007. Yeah. 2007, yeah, 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 I'm yeah, 10 years yeah. out. Gosh. <laughs> Uh, 2007. And it was okay. on. Correct me if I'm mistaken, but it was in. It was in South London, near nearish Clapham, wasn't it? It was in the Kingston Road in the Nental, Nelson Hospital. That's it. Uh, which did the outpatient psychiatry work, and that was my first experience of having psychiatric support. And I'd asked the local mental health trust if uh, we could use one of their rooms for the book launch and, and we had it on yes. and the bus is, didn't we have a bus as well we were on mm, a bus weren't we that was really exciting world actually. mental health day world mental health day um in the world mental health week to do with wandsworth mental health promotion forum and they are a very active group in the wandsworth borough of london and um and you become quite an, an expert with um doing interviews haven't you been in the um newspapers and all kinds of things. Anne's a, uh, really quite good at PR. I've done, done very quite well. a few interviews that. and also I've done quite a lot of mental health discussion online and of course after my first book launch I went into a job in Wandsworth uh, with the Voicing Views project and uh, there I was very active in the mental health field. And I'd just like to thank you very much Anne for being one of them. Um, you know, a great ambassador for Chipmunker and um, seeing seeing you um, doing so well and, and helping people has, um, you know, has given me um, confidence to, 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 to keep and reach out to more people. Um, thank you very much. We've got to go now because we're going back to the seminar. So we we're are. getting pumped up for the rest of the afternoon. OK. Yeah. Thank you, Jason. Love you lots and look after your mental health, everybody. Take yeah. care.